boys and girls, today we're going to learn how to combine science with magic. But before we begin, please do the starter questions that I'm about to show you right now. Has this ever happened to you? It's called static electricity and it's caused by a buildup of charge as I rub my feet on the carpet. To understand this, let's break it down a little. So remember, the electrons are buzzing on the outside of the atom, which means on the surface of my skin are lots and lots of electrons. But if everything's made of atoms, then it means there's electrons on the surface of everything, like a towel. But what happens if I rub a towel off of my skin? Well, let's find out. Here goes nothing. Whoa, look what's happened. I've gained way too many electrons. I'm now negatively charged. And look what's happened to my towel. It's lost its electrons, which means it's now positively charged. Now that I have too many electrons, I'm negatively charged. If I try to go towards something else that has too many electrons, we will repel each other because we're both negatively charged. Let's try it. It's no use. We're repelling each other. But if I move towards something that's lost its electrons and is positively charged, we will attract, just like opposites attract and magnets attract. Let's try it. Oh, I have no electrons. And I have way too many electrons. Here, take mine. Excellent. <sighs> Much better. Now that we know what static electricity is, let's use that knowledge to do some science experiments that are so amazing that they almost seem like magic. But if we're doing anything that involves magic, I first of all got to slip into something more appropriate. Ta-da! For my first trick, I'm going to make the straw spin around all by itself. So what I'm doing here is I'm rubbing the straw with this fur. And as I do that, I am knocking electrons off of the fur onto the straw. Which means the straw is going to be negatively charged and the fur will become positively charged. Now let's watch what happens as I set the straw onto the lid hold my hand up spinning all by itself what's happening there is a straw has too many electrons so it's negatively charged that means it's going to be attracted to my hand because it wants to get rid of some of those electrons for my next trick I'm going to move this can all by itself so once again I'm using the fur to rub something called a polythene rod this is basically just a plastic stick as I do this, I'm knocking electrons off of the fur onto the plastic rod. This means that the rod has become negatively charged and as a result will attract the metal tin can, hoping to get rid of some of those negative electrons. Have you ever wanted to be able to balance a balloon on your head? Well then check out this next experiment. What I'm doing is I'm rubbing the balloon on my hair. As I do this, the balloon is becoming charged. Watch what happens next. Hey, there's a balloon stuck in my head. You can even just stick it to the wall. In this experiment, both the PVC pipe and the balloon are negatively charged, meaning they repel each other. Notice that in all of my experiments, I'm using plastic and other insulators. Insulators are materials that are bad at letting electricity pass through them. Static electricity is when all of that electric charge builds up inside of the insulator but can't move anywhere, unlike if we use a conductor such as metal. In this experiment, I can make a plastic bag float in midair using a PVC pipe. This is because they are both negatively charged and repelling each other. I can 
even make salt float by attracting it towards the negatively charged PVC pipe, even though salt has no charge at all. How cool is this? We are literally bending water by attracting it towards the negatively charged PVC pipe. And so we have reached the end of our video. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more cool and wacky videos. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.